Hi guys. Today I wanted to talk about severe anxiety. It's not something I can talk about very easily. I usually blog, blog posts about anxiety. But today I wanted to talk about it because I've been feeling really anxious this past week and the last couple of weeks. I'm probably triggered by some stuff, but mostly not triggered by anything. Just every now and again I go through bursts of anxiety that are really severe and prevent me from doing anything. I don't want to get out of bed or catch a bus or leave the house or get dressed because the anxiety in my stomach is just consuming me. People think anxiety is just a little feeling that, you know, oh, I'm going to a new place or I've got an exam coming up and stuff. And that's that does cause anxiety, but having anxiety constantly in the pit of your stomach for no reason is the most disabling thing I've ever come across in my life. Trying to do things every day when you've got a massive pit of anxiety just swelling in your stomach, it makes me feel physically sick. Anxiety makes me physically sick. I want to vomit, I want to run, I want to cry. Anxiety is not, it's not fun. Um, but today I had placement, my first day of a placement, of a work placement in a school. And my anxiety was severe. And then realising I had placement made it even more severe. So I last yesterday I had massive headaches um, I couldn't concentrate couldn't sleep uh, I turned all the lights off had weighted blankets nothing I was absolutely petrified and usually when I get this type of anxiety I cancel the plan that is making me anxious I get I run away from it basically I don't face it and I couldn't do that this time because this placement is compulsory for me so that I can complete university and I did it because I had to I got on the bus and my stomach was flipping like I thought I was gonna vomit because the fact that I left the house got dressed but actually woke up to do it that was a start and then I actually got on the bus and then I realized how close I was to actually going and it just freaked me out so but the reason I got there, and I have to admit this, I'm quite a religious person. And on the bus, I put on my religious music and I thought to myself, imagine walking into placement with Jesus right next to you. Imagine him sat on the bus with you right now. So you don't need to freak out about being on the bus by yourself because Jesus is next to you and he's gonna get off the bus with you. You're both gonna walk to placement. You're gonna both, both walk in and with Jesus, you can do anything. And I did it. And that's the first time anything's really worked. And another thing that I think worked, that helped me get out of bed and even attempt it, was um, Rescue Remedy. I just bought some of that. My nan suggested it to me. Let me see where I put it. I've got everything in my backpack. You name it. Stim toys, anxiety spray. You name it. Here's a random tangle for you. Okay, so I've only got these two. Don't know where the light one went. I think I used it yesterday. But these are <laughs> Rescue Remedy Soothing Pastels. Um, and they work really well. They they look like this. So they're quite little. Um, they do kind of work for anxiety, but only for a short period of time like probably not even half hour but they're good for fast acting straight away um and then this is the day rescue remedy um spray and what you do is it looks like this this one's different i use the uh the spray the night spray this is a dropper Oh, so you can put four dri drops into a drink or put four drops on your tongue. I would probably go for a tongue. I wouldn't want to put that in a drink. And the minute you do it, it gives you relief. Like, the night one is amazing. I don't know where it is because I move it because I use it that much. Um, basically, you spray two drops of the Rescue Remedy night onto your tongue. And it's supposed to stop 
um, repetitive thoughts and going over things over and over in your head. And I do that quite a lot. And I took it. And the first time I took it, it was really strange. It was like I couldn't think about anything negative. I was trying to think of negative stuff and I was just like, I can't. Like, my brain wouldn't let me think. It was like, it was like there was a wall in my head stopping me. And that was amazing. So they do work for me. It just takes longer. And I was surprised that they work because calms and stuff like that doesn't work. And another thing that got me through placement and my severe anxiety was stimming. And obviously I went through the entire placement trying my hardest not to stim. Um, which is hard. Because stimming is just you need to do it like you don't even know you're doing it most of the time. So the minute I got out of placement I was stimming like crazy. The minute before I went in placement I was stimming like crazy. And I just found my rescue remedy night. So it looks like a spray. And you just spray it, two drops on your tongue, and you're done. But yeah, basically, the, I just wanted to say that I've had extreme anxiety for the past few weeks. Um, I literally, it's really hard to cope with that. Um, it's really hard to do anything. It's really hard to socialise. You just get really tired. You can't sleep. Um, or you sleep too much. Um, it just makes me feel... Like I can't do anything. Like I can't function and be a person because everyone else around seems to be doing just fine. And then there's me like a mess on the floor wondering what the hell is going on. And I kind of just want people to know that you're not alone. And if you're anxious about doing something, it's not as bad as it seems. Your brain makes it feel like it's a whole lot worse because placement, I just managed it to be awful. And it was actually really lovely. So just dive in there. Like once you've done something once, it's likely to be less anxious, like nerve wracking. So do it. Um, I feel slightly less anxious now because of going to placement, seeing how it was. And now I feel a lot more comfortable going back. But I still have this extreme anxiety in the pit of my stomach and I haven't had this bad anxiety in a while. Um, I haven't been on anxiety medication for a year now, a year this month. And it's actually come to the point where I'm considering going back to the doctor, um, having a look at options, probably medication, but a different medication to what I was on. Um, and I know that some people don't agree with medication and stuff, and, but I just think for me that may be the best option right now in order to have some control over my anxiety and the way I'm feeling so at least I can function, um, at least I can go outside and try and interact with people and do things that I want to do rather than have this crippling gut-wrenching feeling inside me that I can't do anything um, because when my anxiety gets really bad everything gets bad every single issue escalates depression gets bad depression gets really bad um, and with depression comes suicidal thoughts suicidal adulation and etc etc um, stimming becomes a lot worse when anxious, depressed, um, all of that. So basically everything is just influencing each other and I feel like I need to sort that out. That's basically just a brief overview of what's going on currently in terms of the severe anxiety. You know, ways that could help you will be different to mine, but general ones are like taking a walk, getting some fresh air, that's good to clear your mind. Tangles and anti-anxiety stress toys. Trying to get past your fear because once you tackle that fear, you feel so much better. That's probably the hardest challenge. Listening to music you enjoy, things you like doing without causing you too much anxiety. Trying to relax and get enough sleep. Making sure you eat right. And pretty much that's it. Um, I'm gonna do a blog post on it, which will probably make more sense. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later.
Bye.